Hello, friends, and welcome back to The Dork Side. I'm the dork on the road, and we had so much fun with our last e-bike review that we're doing another one. This is the Care Libra. I'm the dork in the road, and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. This box just arrived from Care. This is the Care Libra full suspension electric bike, and it has a carrying capacity of, I'm not joking, 400 pounds. So even a large guy like me can still ride and enjoy this full suspension bike, take gear with me, use the rack that comes with it, all of that. So pretty excited to get a look at this heavy duty e-bike. So we're gonna take it out of the box and build this bad boy. She's officially out of the box. I really like this kind of cobalt gray color. Just a few more steps, handlebars, front wheel, pedals, and fenders. And it should be good to go. So, excited. Let's build it. And there we are, fully assembled. And that is a sweet looking color. And look how beefy it is. Look at it, three rails back to the rack. They're not joking around. That's actually like a rear seat, not just a rack. You could put a person on there. Quick release seat post, and this display is gorgeous. Look at that. That is unbelievably gorgeous. Assembly was very easy. I think I was at this for half an hour. Let me show you the toolkit it comes with. So pretty comprehensive, Allen keys, decent wrenches. It's actually got clippers for you to cut all the zip ties that I didn't use, because I'm dumb. Owner's manual charger. It comes with a lock. That's pretty cool, an amount for your lock. You don't always see that. I haven't put this reflector on. Don't think I'm going to. But this is a cool touch. It's actually got touch-up paint for the bike. So if you scratch it or ding it or say, I don't know, drop it on the floor when you're putting it together. Who would do that? The next morning. Here we are in the woods on the Fouquier Libre full suspension, high capacity e-bike. And we're just out in a clear cut going uphill right now. Going uphill. Now, you guys need to know going into this review that I'm a very large rider. To say I'm pushing 300 pounds these days, it's not an exaggeration. So, you know, one of the Achilles heels of these bikes is carrying capacity. Can they do stuff with people of above average size? And so we're out testing that today. Uh, as a very above average sized rider. This is a pretty steep hill. This thing they say it can climb hills of up to 30 degrees easily. We're actually on a steeper hill than that. I could climb it slowly without pedaling, but pedaling helps, so we're doing that. Gotta get some exercise in. That's a nice thing about these e-bikes is it can take you all over the place, but I encourage you to get a little exercise, but they don't require it. So if you get tired, you know, you can just use the motor to get you home, whatever. First impressions of this bike. The full suspension is actually useful. My favorite thing is this. How easy it is to compress it and use it to hop and like get over obstacles. Hey, puppy. Hey, buddy. It's all good. You're okay. okay. All right, have a good walk. You meet the most interesting people out in the woods. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, the full suspension, and I've cranked it all the way up. It is adjustable, so you don't get that often, but it's really easy to compress and jump and pop up over stuff. So, you know, for an off-road-ish bike, that is super useful you never know what you're going to come across and it's nice to know that it's incredibly easy to on command on demand get that front wheel up and over obstacles especially because the front tires are a little smaller on this they're not huge the other thing i like is the adjustable seat so the seat height can be adjusted up and down it is a quick adjust quick release kind of seat and the step through design of this bike is neat if you're like vertically challenged it's really easy to get on and get going you can just hop up on the pedals and then get up on the seat you don't have to get on the seat to take off pretty cool to get up here and explore there's a little pond over here i want to see if i can find because i saw it on the satellite map so let's go that way first it's actually way more fun to ride standing on the pedals kind of feels like a trials bike to me like i almost don't want to sit down and ride it uh, part of that is the seat is a little narrow it's a true bicycle seat which I don't love. So, and it's worth mentioning, and you guys that come around the channel a lot know this, but this is the kind of video that brings in a lot of new people, because this is not my regular content. Uh, I'm an off-road motorcycle rider. I'm a dual sport and adventure guy. You know, at the moto camp and stuff on those bikes. And so that's my perspective. I'm not an e-bike reviewer. I'm not a guy with it. This is my second e-bike ever. So I'm not the guy that's like gonna compare every single stat and statistic of every e-bike ever made. I'm just gonna talk about what the experience is as someone who's maybe curious about or interested in getting into e-bike riding, uh, particularly if they have a motorcycle background, but it's sort of a, a newbie journeyman perspective. Let's talk specs on the Fouquier 
Libra full suspension e-bike. The price on the website right now is $1,200, so it is more inexpensive as far as e-bikes go. Suggested terrains, they say sand and snow, trail cruising, neighborhood urban. So it's kind of designed to do it all with those fat tires. Those are 20 by four inch fat tires to help you kind of get some extra shock absorption and give you good traction even on looser surfaces like sand. It's got an LG 48 volt, 15 amp hour lithium battery. Motor rated power is 750 watts with a max power of 900 to 1000 watts. The entire frame is made of aluminum alloy. It has a Shimano seven speed shifter, a max load of 400 pounds. That is a significant amount of weight for a bike like this. So even a guy like me, a heavy guy like me can put a bunch of stuff on it like I have with my giant loop luggage, as you can see and still get out and ride it and it'll do the job. Max speed of 32 miles per hour, 35 to 60 miles on a charge, depending on how much you're pedaling or not. Max torque of 80 Newton meters and it has 180 millimeter disc brakes. It has a multifunctional color screen display, very nice, good looking display. Side kickstand, which is down where it does not interfere with the pedals when you like roll it around the garage, which is super underrated, awesome, actually super useful feature. Comfortable wide saddle, you can see that is adjustable with the quick release so you can put it up and down, switch between riders or just find tune it to where you want it that's super nice to have they sell an optional cargo kit for it where you can add baskets to the front and the rear and really turn it into your going to the grocery store and bringing back all your groceries that's what that 400 pound capacity is really about is being able to haul a bunch of stuff back so it can kind of replace your car if you live in a city that's you know relatively flat where you can get around the display is gorgeous it is full color it has a thumb throttle which i actually like better than the twist throttle on the last bike that i reviewed and a super cool feature is this rear platform slash seat you can see it's cushioned there but I've just attached a giant loop rogue bag to it. It fits perfectly. And I actually just put a couple sweatshirts in there so it wouldn't look so flat. And then I'm hauling my filming gear in there. Look at this beefy, beefy frame. Look at those beefy welds. Beefy rear suspension. It's just designed to take a beating, it really feels like. And you get a lot, I think, for this price point. It's not crazy expensive as e-bikes go. And we're out here in the woods actually testing it on some interesting gravel. There's gonna be some mud and stuff today. So I'm just gonna get out and ride and kind of talk about my impressions and my feelings about the bike and just share all that with you. We're on the old, the chest mount here. And one of my favorite things about e-bikes is you can take them places that you're not supposed to take motorcycles. Here, for example, this is all closed to motor vehicles because it's logging company land and uh, some loose stuff Let's see how we do yeah brand new culvert there but they don't care if you come up here and hike around if you bring a horse or a bicycle they don't care uh, it's just motor vehicles that are prohibited because they just don't want people dumping trash and starting fires so motorcycles are technically not allowed but here i am exploring an area i would not otherwise be able to explore and even if I got caught, nobody's going to care because I'm on this e-bike. I'm on a bicycle, right? So there's an interesting gray area there between bicycle and e-bike. And it's a good time to exploit it while people are still figuring out the rules. Because you can go places you couldn't otherwise go. There's a great trail in my community that is all paved and it's awesome down along the river. And, you know, you can't ride motorcycles on that. But I can ride an e-bike on it and have a very similar experience. So pretty cool. So here's a little less maintain the road the only thing you gotta watch out for is going down any super steep hills because climbing back up is sometimes difficult feel pretty good about this grade feel pretty good about being able to get back up and you know even if you can't you just walk beside it oh yeah i see you eating up the bumps i've been down here with equipment not that long ago yeah this is a little steeper than i want to go down on this you guys with your dirt bike skills check it it's a pivot turn and we're out of here Things I like about it, low price point, capacity is unbelievably high. Uh, 400 pounds is crazy a lot for an e-bike, for a bicycle really. Build quality is stellar. I just look at the welds and the quality and just the weight and the heft of the thing, it's impressive. I really like the fat tires. Uh, I like that the full suspension, it's not just a gimmick and it's actually kind of useful. I mean, you're gonna bottom it a lot, especially if you're pushing that 400 pound capacity, but it's sort of designed for that. It's a short travel suspension. The bars are, are really good height, I enjoy that. I actually like these rubber grips even, more than the grips on other e-bikes I've ridden. It's got fenders, so if you use it as your commuter or your get around town bike, you're not gonna get covered in rain uh, or mud or whatever it is that you have on your way to work in your work clothes. It's got a decent range, it's got a, a powerful motor. 750 watts is pretty good, especially again at this price point. This is definitely priced like an entry level e-bike, but you're getting a lot. Uh, cons, I do wish the seat was a little wider. I don't love the look of the step through, but I understand the point of it. And you know, there's really no reason 
that's purely cosmetic. There's no reason why it's not good or why it isn't useful. It doesn't affect the, the stability or rigidity of the frame any, not with a beefy frame like this, but it's not my favorite design, to be honest. Uh, I really like the color screen. Well, 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 they have been working up here. Yeah, so they are uh, actively working on the roads up here. I absolutely love the idea of taking one of these to a rally like Turretech or Giant Loop. You know, you got room in your trailer or your truck because it's not hard to keep them, to include them. They're not heavy, don't take up a lot of space. Full charge goes for a long time. And I just have it to ride around the grounds and the terrain, you know, go over to the booths and the vendors and stuff. Let's go a little faster and see how it does. Yeah, that suspension, I'm sitting right now just to test it. Ooh, yeah, let's go downhill. So, you know, it gets around. And if it moves me like this, if it moves me, a large dude like this, you average people are gonna have no problem. You're gonna have a blast on this thing. It's gonna be like a rocket for you. So fun. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna try standing up. Oh yeah, I can feel that suspension. They're like stirring up a, a wake of disturbed leaves flying up behind us. It's awesome. So you know, can you ride it fast? Reasonably fast. The suspension is actually helping. It's not bottoming right now. Oh, okay, there it did. All I had to do was say that, I guess. But I definitely feel it working. It is useful. Look at that view. You can't see it on the chest rig, I'm sure, but it's there. Oh, yeah. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, Rose. We're going right over here. Keep that momentum up. Let's do it. Their sort of defining feature for this bike is that carrying capacity. And like I said, it is unusually high like 400 pounds is a lot to ask of an e-bike and with the basket setup which is actually really cool and it's designed for it so there's like four bolt holes on the front it really easily goes on that cargo platform on the back and it adds a ton of capacity but even without it you can see what i'm doing with the luggage it has the biggest rear platform slash seat slash rack i've ever seen one of my favorite things to do with like bikes like this and you know motorcycles like that bras i got the sort of more inexpensive entry level type vehicles is you know because a lot of people get the idea in their head that you can't do certain things on those and and the fact is most of these vehicles will do most of the things just slower and not as well as some other things this is a really steep hill the kind that would have scared me to ride up on a motorcycle early on in my riding career it's rocky it's technical and we're just going to ride down it on this because I just want you to see that, especially for kind of gravel road, forest exploring, you know, as long as you're not gonna go hit up crazy hardcore mountain bike single track trails or something, these little bikes are far more capable than you think. My biggest concern on this is the brakes, so I'm gonna use them a lot. Let me show you, it can handle some of these things. You can take it a lot of stupid places and it'll be fine. Uh, the suspension is actually gonna help quite a bit on this, but it's not gonna look good on the GoPro. I understand, that's fine, but there's a rut right here in the middle, of the rut crossing. Yeah, let's get a little bit more speed. Yeah, and look, you can hear the suspension working and bottoming, right? But here we are taking it down this muddy, it's muddy, look at the mud, rocky, overgrown, abandoned logging road in the winter time. It's actually fall. You can do a lot on a bike like this. They're fun to play around on. They don't cost so much that you care a lot if you do mess it up. So I guess my final conclusion, here's a fun little section that requires a big rut crossing, by the way. And then a little step up. I'm sliding in the mud right now. Oh, yeah. Huh. Not the best traction on these tires, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. They're not exactly knobbies, but they did that just fine. Super capable, super fun, easy to throw around and play with. And take even cool places like this. It's not just for bebopping around town, but if that's what you want it for, if you want to ride to the store or commute to school or, you know, and, and get to go places that motorcycles can't go and basically have no transportation costs because you just plug it in, charge it up, and it costs almost nothing. It's a great option. Something worth considering. And I would encourage you to take a look at it. Take a look at the website, which I will link for you, but I'm having a blast on this thing. Okay, here's another steep trail that I actually couldn't ride up. There wasn't enough traction, but let's see if we can get down. It's interesting how... All the skills are the same, you know, shifting your weight, reloading the brake, you know, just going slow, technical, leaning the bike underneath you, all of that is the same. It translates back to bicycles, which I have not been a bike a bicycle guy in a long time. There we go. We're out of the woods, literally. Overall, highly favorable, really fun. Big shout out and thank you to Fucare for sponsoring this video and sending me this bike. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. But for now and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I oh, thank you. Excellent! I love bunny hopping this thing.
<laughs> Good times.